My name is Gino da Campo. I'm a chef born and raised in Italy. For Italians, the most important thing in life is food. Let me show you how mouth-watering ingredients have shaped my home country. That's one of the best things that I've ever eaten. Join me tonight in a place obsessed by fruit. Lemon pasta, limoncello, limone. Lemon paradise. I meet the buffaloes that are treated like royalty. Look up behind me. They sunbathing, they eat in good grass. And I use some of Italy's best ingredients to create an evening to remember. Salute! Salute! This is my Italian escape. There are so many beautiful places in Italy, but this has to be one of my favorites. With its rugged coastline and stunning scenery, this is the Amalfi Coast. If you look at the boot of Italy, the Amalfi Coast is in the south, near the Ankle. And today, I'm in Amalfi Town itself. Situated at the mouth of a deep ravine, the town has been famous for its fragrant lemons for over a thousand years. In the 1920s and 30s, Amalfi was a stylish holiday destination for film stars and the British upper classes. So why do I love it so much? Well, this is where I used to come on holiday with my family. This place, Amalfi, means a lot to me. A lot of memory when I was a little boy, probably about 10, 11. My mom and dad used to take my sister and I always here to swim and to have ice creams. One thing I loved as a boy was eating ice-cold granita. And here, it has to be flavored with Amalfi's lemons. Ciao, bello. Ciao. How do you make this, sir? I make it with the lemon, sugar, and the water. Lemon, sugar, and water. And the water. That's Organic it. Organic lemon. Mmm. This granita takes me right back to being a boy in the 1980s. It's so simple, my palate picks up every single ingredient here and, and magical. That's what it is, magical. Mm. No milk inside, nothing. The tourists like it? Yes. Around 300,000 tourists flock to this pretty coastal town every year, and many of them are British. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. I love you more. The reason why Amalfi is very popular with tourists is very simple. I mean, have a look at the coast. You got the sea, you got the mountain, the food is excellent, the people are unbelievably nice. I mean, everybody who comes here is just, they're just gonna get shocked. When I came here as a child, I had no idea that Amalfi's breathtaking scenery was hiding a wonderful secret. Hugging the steep cliffs high above the town are the fragrant citrus groves that make this area unique. Here, the warm Italian sun and cool sea breezes are perfect for growing Amalfi's exclusive lemons. Wherever you go, there is lemon grove everywhere. So this town is lemon crazy. And there is one thing that I want to do here in Amalfi is to learn everything I should know about lemons. And there is only one way to find Amalfi's lemons, by walking up steps, hundreds of steps. This charming citrus grove is owned and looked after by the Aceto family. Salvador. Hey, Gino. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Everything okay? Okay. It's Buongiorno. Okay. Grazie, 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 grazie. This is lemon heaven. Yes. This is yeah. a paradise. A paradise? <laughs> yes. 
It's, it's incredible because as I was walking up, and there are a lot of steps yes, to walk up here. Not too much uh, step. The, the only thing that you can smell is lemons. Yes, it's, it's beautiful. It's phenomenal. I mean, yes. lemon, 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 lemon. Tell me something. Why are the Amalfi lemons so special? It's the best because it never sits inside. Ah, it so is... there is no seeds at all? No, no, no. Oh, no look at that. So you can actually you can eat peel whole. it yes. and eat it like that. You can eat the skin as well. Because it's natural. We don't use a chemical addition. Mm. This is surprisingly sweet. So you don't use any preservatives, any chemical, anything. Come on, show me how to pick some lemons. I've never done it before. Così, vedi? Oh, okay. Con la foglia. E che succede se rovina da qua? Da qua non va bene perché puoi rompere la corona e si rovina il limone. Okay. See what he just told me is whenever you pick lemon, you must make sure that you never pick them from when the crown of the lemon is, because otherwise it will rotten all the way through. So you need to leave a little bit of the leaves on top. You live and learn. <laughs> they should do an aftershave, a lemon it's aftershave. Good for, the for the fly. For, for the, the fly, fly, yes, <laughs> it's good. It's very, very beautiful. <laughs> Salvatore and his family pick 4,000 kilograms of lemons a year from their groves by hand. Many of the lemons are taken to the family's factory, where they are transformed into Amalfi's legendary liqueur, Limoncello. I have been inspired to make a lemon dessert. And I couldn't come to Amalfi without using the local produce. Buongiorno. Ciao, buongiorno. Come va? Bene, Tutto bene? bene? Tutti questi limoni. Guarda quante, quante cose, cose facciamo. Limone. limone, limoncello. I've just asked how many things you got with lemon, and she's going through to me the lemons, the limoncello. Sapone al limone. Lemon soap. Lemon pasta. Of course. Lemon candy. Zucchero al limone. Sugar lemon. Yes. I've never seen this before. Buonissimo. Sugar lemon. Miele. Lemon honey. This Paralini. is like being uh, in a lemon paradise. But all I need is a bottle of limoncello. And there are so many to choose from. Let's hope this one is the best. Fantastic. Grazie, Bella. Ciao. Grazie, Ciao. grazie, grazie. Ciao. I'm officially all lemoned out. Well, not quite all lemoned out. Salvatore has lent me a corner of his lemon grove so I can prepare a delicious lemon and limoncello mousse. The first thing that we have to do is fresh eggs. We're going to break them straight into a bowl. I just want to use the egg whites here. It's important to get them all fluffy. Be careful whenever you whisk the egg white because often people turn the whisk into the bowl just like this and that is a mistake because you don't bring air into the egg white. To make sure that they're fluffy, you have to lift the whisk so then all the air goes into the egg white. That's it, I'm happy. And you know when the egg whites are done if you can do this. Look. No egg white coming anywhere. This is not a magic trick. They're just perfectly whisked. In with some caster sugar. And now for a bit more whisking. What I'm looking for is a light meringue texture. All of a sudden, the egg white is gone light, fluffy and shiny. OK, I'm happy with this. Now, mascarpone cheese. It's best to loosen up the mascarpone. Now, what I'm going to do is to grate the skin of an Amalfi lemon. Of course, any old lemon will do the job. The smell is unbelievable. That's it. I'm done with my lemon skin. I got a little bit on the zest here, and I'm not going to let it go, because to me, this is like when you have flakes of gold, you don't want to waste them. Now, limoncello liqueur. I'm gonna add a few drops into my mascarpone. The lemon zest from uh, Amalfi, 
the flavor of the limoncello. This is gonna be fantastic. Mix everything together. Straight away, you start to fold in the egg white into the mascarpone mixture. Always little by little. What you want to achieve is something that is creamy, but yet we haven't lost any air from the egg whites. I'm really happy with this. Now, the way I like you to serve it is by using a cocktail glass, because if you have a party, this is gonna look very cool. Look at that creamy mousse. And to finish the dish, crushed hard amaretti biscuits. And that's it, the job is done. Look at that. My lemon and limoncello mousse. And I found a nice little spot over there where I'm gonna eat it. Buonissimo. But I've still got more to see in Amalfi. Coming up, I try my hand at making buffalo mozzarella. Yeah. Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And an evening cruise calls for the perfect party food. The flavors are going to be just amazing. I'm visiting one of the prettiest towns in southern Italy, Amalfi. When I first came here on holiday as a little boy, I never thought I'd be coming back as a chef to discover the secrets of Amalfi's famous lemons. The Aceto family have been my hosts here. I wanted to thank them with an evening sailing and some superb snacks. Italian entertaining is all about using simple flavors, so I need to find a special ingredient to feed my guests. And I've got just the idea. 60 kilometers south along the Amalfi coast, there is a farm where I'm told they produce the ultimate buffalo mozzarella. In the north of Italy, the weather is not very good, so the buffaloes are not very happy. Here in the south, look up behind me. They sunbathing, they eating good grass. Happy buffaloes means amazing mozzarella. So these fine specimens get the royal treatment, even a personal massage. And it makes all the difference. A cow milk mozzarella is quite tasteless. So usually Italian people will, or myself, I will use it when I bake pasta or when I cook generally. A buffalo milk mozzarella, you shouldn't cook with it. You should just eat it like you would eat an apple. Here at the Vanullo farm, they make and sell 300 kilograms of mozzarella every day. And people will drive miles to get their share. Because as every Italian knows, buffalo mozzarella must be eaten on the day it's made. Nicola Palmieri's family own the farm. And I want to know how they make one of Italy's most popular cheeses. I can already smell the uh, mozzarella everywhere. Yes, yes. This, this is, one is already? What's happening uh, here? This is a little cherry mozzarella. They are the smallest uh, can I try size, one? so yes, you can try. See, I love mozzarella, so I just can't resist. Mm -hmm. Forgive me. Uh, no problem. Forgive you, me. You can do this. Come on. Mm -hmm. The curd from the buffalo milk is shredded, heated, and the gooey substance is stirred until the texture is just right. Then it's cooled, and the skilled workers break it into the mozzarella balls we know and love. Every ounce of this cheese is precious, so I wonder if they let me get my hands on it. See, I've been in the mozzarella factory before, but there is one thing that I've never done, is actually making mozzarella. Now, now can I do? You, yeah, you, now you can promise? try. I promise, I promise. Once torn off, the bowl needs to be sealed tightly so that water can't get inside the mozzarella and spoil it. This is so cool. You must to use these two fingers. So wet the hands. Yeah, wet hands because... And then uh, pick it up. 
Okay, one cut. Two. Okay. And now? And, and put inside the water. Just leave it like that. Okay. Okay. This is not isn't good. No? This is not good. No. You. This is mine. Uh, the difference. Uh, I, I tend to have. Uh, I tend to go for bigger balls. <laughs> so that's the story of my life. Okay. Do it again. Okay. This is more difficult than I thought. Huh? Oh, good. 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 Oh. I mean, my first small salad. You, you must not to be empty inside. It isn't closed. Oh, but now you've been a bit too fussy, though. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Hey, hey, give me uh, the chance the to... Time, uh, yes. uh, Ready? Uh, 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 yes or no? Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, I think you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to carry on eating mozzarella yeah, yes, instead yes. of making it. Yeah. How about that? Yes. Uh, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you guys. Carry on. I'll put this back. Grazie. Once the mozzarella balls have been, well, properly made by the experts, they are marinated in salted water to give them that special taste. This is the final step to make a good mozzarella. Are they ready to go now? Yes, they're ready. ready to go. People can buy them, people can yes, eat them. Yes. I'm not sure I've done enough work to deserve another treat. Salute but I just can't help myself. See, now it's nice and salty outside, yes. but inside you can still see the tenderness and the milk coming through, the creaminess. It's unbelievable. I'm so excited because I can't wait to taste this mozzarella oh, yes, for you. cooking. This is going to be fantastic. OK, mm. let's go. Grazie. Prego, welcome. I've bought some of these amazing mozzarella to make something very special for my sunset cruise with Salvatore and his family from the Lemon Grove. I'm gonna show you a little nibble, which is amazing if you're having a party, your friends around, or you can use for antipasti. And it's mozzarella wrapped with parma ham, served with the pesto and soft cheese and rocket leaves. The first thing we're gonna have to do is to flavor the soft cheese. So what I got here, I got some nice soft cheese that is going to go straight into a bowl. You can use any kind of soft cheese. Mascarpone will work, uh, ricotta cheese will work, absolutely fine. Pesto and soft cheese go so well together. And now we're going to add a little bit of black pepper. OK, so now you can imagine the flavor of pine kernels, the cheese and the basil from the pesto mixing with the soft cheese. OK, I'm happy with this. Time for the star ingredient. The two mozzarella that I have here is the first one here, the bocconcini, or also known as cherry mozzarella, and the big one here. Look, this is the usual the one you would find in Italy. This, in Italian, is called tizza, which in English translates to a woman breast. For this dish, the little mozzarella works best. Get a few slices of parma ham and lay them on a chopping board. On with the creamy soft cheese and pesto mix. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use some rocket leaves that I'm gonna lay over the parma ham. The peppery and bitter rocket contrasts so well with a mild cheese. Just put half of the mozzarella on one side of the parma ham, just like this. Okay? And now simply what you have to do is roll the parma ham with the soft cheese and the rocket leaves, just like this. See, this is exactly what I like about Italian food. You pick up two, three ingredients, fresh rocket leaves, fresh buffalo mozzarella, a bit of parma ham, and the flavors are gonna be just amazing. When I serve these little nibbles later, I know that a limoncello cocktail will go perfectly with them. The first thing you have to do, make sure you got two nice fruit glasses like this, and a fresh lemon. Get your glasses and put them on the top of the lemon. So you make sure that they, you wet the edge of the glass, like this. And then get yourself a little bowl of caster sugar and dip into the caster sugar. Let's see. I'm happy with that. Now for the limoncello. 
straight, you probably want about two to three fingers of limoncello going on the bottom of the glass. And straight on top, we're gonna go for Prosecco. You can use champagne if you want, but I prefer the Prosecco because the Prosecco has got a little bubbles with the limoncello, it's gonna be very good. See? See? Ha ha! My perfect party food. My time in Amalfi is drawing to a close. But I have got one last appointment to keep. Watching the sun go down at sea with my friends from the Lemon Grove. And the best way to kick off the proceedings? my limoncello cocktail. Let's not drink too much because we are in the middle of the sea after all. <laughs> Salute. 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 And finally, an explosion of flavors. Mozzarella di bufala con il pesto, la rucola. È amaro. Però è buono. Amaro è buono perché ha un buon equilibrio. To the Amalfi Lemon, to the Amalfi Coast, and to the Limoncello. Yeah, grazie. E a te, a te, Gino. Grazie. In Italy, we would call today una giornata perfetta. A perfect day. You can find all Gino's mouth-watering recipes and more in his accompanying book, Gino's Italian Escape, out now from all good retailers. Well, if you've enjoyed Gino's adventures in Italy and fancy recreating some of his dishes at home, why not head to the website for the recipes, itv.com slash Gino's Italian Escape. Well, one down and another couple will be sent home tomorrow, so which celebrities can rock and roll their way through to next week? Stepping out is tomorrow night at 6.30. But stay with us, we're back in Coronation Street next. This is not, isn't good, no? This is not good? No. You. This is mine. Uh, the difference uh, I, I tend to have, uh, I tend to go for bigger balls. <laughs> so that's the story of my life. Okay, do it again. Okay, this is more difficult than I thought. Huh? Good? Good. Oh, I mean, my first monster ever. You, you must not to be empty inside. It isn't closed. Ah, but now you've been a bit too fussy, though. Uh, yes. hey, hey, give me uh, the chance the to... Time, uh... yes. Ready? Uh, yes or no? Okay. Yes. 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 Oh. yes. I think you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to carry on eating mozzarella yes, yes. instead of making it. Yeah. How about that? Yes. Uh, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Carry on. I'll put this back. Grazie. Yeah. Once the mozzarella balls have been, well, properly made by the experts, they are marinated in salted water to give them that special taste. This is the final step to make a good mozzarella. Are they ready to go now? Yes, they're ready. ready to go. People can buy them, people can yes, eat them. Yes. I'm not sure I've done enough work to deserve another treat. Salute. But I just can't help myself. See, now it's nice and salty outside. Yes. But inside, you can still see the tenderness and the milk coming through, the creaminess. It's unbelievable. I'm so excited because I can't wait to use this mozzarella oh, yes, for you. cooking. This is going to be fantastic. OK. Mm. Let's go. Grazie. Prego, welcome. I bought some of this amazing mozzarella to make something very special for my sunset cruise with Salvatore and his family from the Lemon Grove. I'm gonna show you a little nibble, which is amazing if you're having a party, your friends around, or you can use for antipasti. And it's mozzarella wrapped with parma ham, served with the pesto and soft cheese and rocket leaves. The first thing we're gonna have to do is to flavor the soft cheese. So what I got here, I got some nice soft cheese that is gonna go straight into a bowl. You can use any kind of soft cheese. Mascarpone will work, uh, ricotta cheese will work, absolutely fine. Pesto and soft cheese go so well together. 
And now we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Okay, so now you can imagine the flavor of pine kernels, the cheese and the basil from the pesto mixing with the soft cheese. Okay, I'm happy with this. Time for the star ingredient. The two mozzarella that I have here is the first one here, the bocconcini, or also known as cherry mozzarella. And the... I tend to have, uh, I tend to go for bigger bowls. So that's the story of my life. Okay, do it again. Okay, this is more difficult than I thought. Huh? Good. Good? Oh, I mean, my first mozzarella. You, you must not to be empty inside. It isn't the closet. Oh, but now you've been a bit too fussy, though. Uh, yes. uh, hey, give me uh, the chance the to... Uh... Time, yes. <laughs> Ready? Uh, 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 yes or no? Okay. Yes. 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 Uh, uh, yes. I think you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to carry on eating mozzarella yes, yes. instead of making it. Yeah. How about that? Yes. Uh, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. OK. Thank you, guys. Carry on. I'll put this back. Grazie. Yeah. Once the mozzarella balls have been, well, properly made by the experts, they are marinated in salted water to give them that special taste. This is the final step to make a good mozzarella. Are they ready to go now? Yes, they're ready, ready to go. People can buy them, people can yes, eat them. Yes. I'm not sure I've done enough work to deserve another treat. Salute. But I just can't help myself. See, now it's nice and salty outside. Yes. But inside, you can still see the tenderness and the milk coming through, the creaminess. It's unbelievable. I'm so excited because I can't wait to taste this mozzarella oh, yes, for you. cooking. This is going to be fantastic. OK, mm. let's go. Grazie. Prego, welcome. I've bought some of this amazing mozzarella to make something very special for my sunset cruise with Salvatore and his family from the Lemon Grove. I'm going to show you a little nibble, which is amazing if you're having a party, your friends around, or you can use for antipasti. And it's mozzarella wrapped with parma ham, served with the pesto and soft cheese and rocket leaves. The first thing we're going to have to do is to flavor the soft cheese. So what I got here, I got some nice soft cheese that is going to go straight into a bowl. You can use any kind of soft cheese. Mascarpone will work, uh, ricotta cheese will work, absolutely fine. Pesto and soft cheese go so well together. And now we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Okay, so now you can imagine the flavor of pine kernels, the cheese and the basil from the pesto mixing with the soft cheese. Okay, I'm happy with this. Time for the star ingredient. The two mozzarella that I have here is the first one here, the bocconcini, or also known as cherry mozzarella, and the big one here. Look, this is the usual the one you would find in Italy. This in it, I mean, everybody who comes here is just, just gonna get shocked. When I came here as a child, I had no idea that Amalfi's breathtaking scenery was hiding a wonderful secret. Hugging the steep cliffs high above the town are the fragrant citrus groves that make this area unique. Here, the warm Italian sun and cool sea breezes are perfect for growing Amalfi's exclusive lemons. Wherever you go, there is lemon grove everywhere. So this town is lemon crazy. And there is one thing that I want to do here in Amalfi is to learn everything I should know about lemons. And there is only one way to find Amalfi's lemons, by walking up steps, hundreds of steps. This charming citrus grove is owned and looked after by the Aceto family. Salvador. Hey, Gino. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Everything OK? OK. It's Buongiorno. Okay. Si grazie, 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 grazie. This is lemon heaven. Yes. This is yeah. a paradise. A paradise? <laughs> yes. 
It's, it's incredible because as I was walking up, and there are a lot of steps yes, to walk up here. Not too much uh, step. The, the only thing that you can smell is lemons. Yes, it's, it's beautiful. It's phenomenal. I mean, yes. lemon, 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 lemon. Tell me something. Why are the Amalfi lemons so special? It's the best because it never sits inside. Ah, so there is no seeds at all. No, no, no. Oh, look this at that. So you can actually you can eat peel whole. it. Yes. And eat it like that. You can eat the skin as well. Because it's natural. We don't use a chemical addition. Mm. This is surprisingly sweet. So you don't use any preservatives, any chemical, anything. Come on, show me how to pick some lemons. I've never done it before. Così, vedi? Oh, OK. Con la foglia. E che succede se rovina da qua? Da qua non va bene perché puoi rompere la corona e si rovina il limone. OK. See, what you just told me is whenever you pick lemon, you must make sure that you never pick them from when the crown of the lemon is, because otherwise it will rotten all the way through. So you need to leave a little bit of the leaves on top. You live and learn. They should do an aftershave, a lemon it's aftershave. Good for, the, for the fly. For, for the, the fly, fly, yes, it's good. It's <laughs> very, very beautiful. <laughs> Salvatore and his family pick 4,000 kilograms of lemons a year from their groves, by hand. Many of the lemons are taken to the family's factory, where they are transformed into Amalfi's lake. Mmm, this granita takes me right back to being a boy in the 1980s. It's so simple, my palate picks up every single ingredient here, and, and magical. That's what it is, magical. Mm. No sure. milk inside, nothing. The tourists like it? Yes. Around 300,000 tourists flock to this pretty coastal town every year, and many of them are British. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. I love you more. <laughs> The reason why Amalfi is very popular with tourists is very simple. I mean, have a look at the coast. You got the sea, you got the mountain, the food is excellent, the people are unbelievably nice. I mean, everybody who comes here is just, just gonna get shocked. When I came here as a child, I had no idea that Amalfi's breathtaking scenery was hiding a wonderful secret. Hugging the steep cliffs high above the town are the fragrant citrus groves that make this area unique. Here, the warm Italian sun and cool sea breezes are perfect for growing Amalfi's exclusive lemons. Wherever you go, there is lemon grove everywhere. So this town is lemon crazy. And there is one thing that I want to do here in Amalfi is to learn everything I should know about lemons. And there is only one way to find Amalfi's lemons, by walking up steps, hundreds of steps. This charming citrus grove is owned and looked after by the Aceto family. Salvador. Hey, Gino. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Everything OK? OK. It's Buongiorno. Okay. Grazie, 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 grazie. This is lemon heaven. Yes, this yeah. is paradise. A paradise? <laughs> yes. It's, it's incredible because as I was walking up, and there are a lot of steps yes. to walk up here. Not too much uh, step. The, the only thing that you can smell is lemons. Yes, it's, it's beautiful. It's phenomenal. I mean, yes. lemon, 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 lemon. Tell me something, why are the Amalfi lemons so special? It's the best because it never sits inside. Ah, so there is no seeds at all? No, no, no. Oh, look at that. So you can actually you can eat peel whole. it yes. and eat it like that. You can eat the skin as well. Because it's natural. We don't use a chemical addition. Mm. This is surprisingly sweet. So you don't use any preservatives, any chemical, anything. Come on, show me how to pick some lemons. I've never done it before. Così, baby. Oh, OK. Colla. Just leave it like that. OK. This is not, isn't good, no? This is not good? No. You. This is mine. Uh, this is uh, I, I tend to have, uh, I tend to go for bigger balls. <laughs> so that's the story of my life. OK, do it again. OK, this is more difficult than I thought. 
You must not to be empty inside. It isn't closed. Ah, but now you've been a bit too fussy, though. Uh, yes. hey, hey, give me uh, the chance the first to. Uh... Time, yes. <laughs> Ready? Uh, 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 yes or no? Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. I think you know what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to carry on eating mozzarella yes, yes. instead of making it. Yeah. How about that? Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you, guys. Carry on. I'll put this back. Grazie. Yeah. Once the mozzarella balls have been, well, properly made by the experts, they are marinated in salted water to give them that special taste. This is the final step to make a good mozzarella. Are they ready to go now? Yes, they're okay. ready. ready to go. People can buy them, people can yes, eat them. Yes. I'm not sure I've done enough work to deserve another treat. Salute. But I just can't help myself. See, now it's nice and salty outside. Yes. But inside, you can still see the tenderness and the milk coming through, the creaminess. It's unbelievable. I'm so excited because I can't wait to taste this mozzarella. Oh, yes. Thank for you. cooking. This is going to be fantastic. OK. Mm. Let's go. Grazie. Prego, welcome. I've bought some of this amazing mozzarella to make something very special for my sunset cruise with Salvatore and his family from the Lemon Grove. I'm going to show you a little nibble, which is amazing if you're having a party, your friends around, or you can use for antipasti. And it's mozzarella wrapped with parma ham, served with the pesto and soft cheese and rocket leaves. The first thing we're going to have to do is to flavor the soft cheese. So what i got here, i got some nice soft cheese that is going to go straight into a bowl. You can use any kind of soft cheese. Mascarpone will work, uh, ricotta cheese will work, absolutely fine. Pesto and soft cheese go so well together. And now we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Okay, so now you can imagine the flavor of pine kernels, the cheese and the basil from the pesto mixing with the soft cheese. Okay, I'm happy with this. Time for the star ingredient. The two mozzarella that I have here is the first one here, the bocconcini, or also known